What is it, Dirt Crew? Hey there, Dirt Crew. <laughs> hey there, Dirt Crew. This week we had a little bit of extra time, so we're doing two uploads. Today we're reviewing the West Creek Reservation Mountain Bike Trail System in Parma, Ohio. This trail system opened in the fall of 2019. The West Creek Reservation is home to the newest single track in the Cleveland Metro Park system. The trails are extremely beginner friendly, with machine cut, smooth packed dirt, with little to no roots and rocks. This is the perfect location to bring your new mountain biker or your kids. Now to get to the mountain bike trails, it's accessed via the paved all purpose trail and the wide packed dirt gateway trail. The single track trails are broken up into three separate loops for a total of 2.7 miles. Each loop is one way only and should be biked in the clockwise direction. Just follow the green enter arrows. Signs with the complete trail maps are posted at each intersection with you are here markers. The first trail included here is Little Loop, which was updated with this huge 180 flat rock berm. This leads to a relatively long downhill descent with two optional booters to jump from and keep an eye out to the right for some optional wall rides. Now do your best to maintain speed using this berm, as the trail has two fast switchbacks and it's a little bit of a challenge to maintain speed through this area. Now you've seen all the fun that this trail has to offer, as the remaining quarter mile is some steep climbing with a moderate drop off to the left to get back to the trailhead. Now the second trail we're showing is Gorge Trail. This is actually the first trail that you come up to on the way up the hill. The trail has absolutely no optional features, and while there are some moderate climbs, it poses very little challenge other than being fairly narrow in some sections. This is a great trail if you just want to get out and enjoy nature without any stress or worrying about challenging features. Now one of the very few things you can do to increase the difficulty and fun of this trail is to ride this berm high and jump from the berm back onto the trail.
The last thing you can do is on this bridge, pedal hard. There's a steep lip that's used for drainage, but if you hit it with some speed, can send you for a small jump with very little consequence. Perfect for training how to get a little bit of air. Now the last trail is Center Loop, which has a fast ascent and a small booter jump at the very beginning of the trail. This trail, along with Little Loop, can be very fun when ridden quickly, and the first half mile or so of this trail can be ridden without a single pedal stroke. Now the rest of the trail is a series of switchbacks and climbing that'll get you back to the trailhead. So let's see how this trail stacks up on the Dirty Rating. So as usual, we start with difficulty. Now, does the trail pose a variety of challenges for more or less skillful riders? Does it have features that can or cannot be rolled? And what's the minimum and maximum skill levels that can have fun here? Well, this trail is widely considered the easiest mountain bike trail in the area. While it would be possible to have an easier trail, such as the towpath or another open mixed use trail, West Creek gets rated a 1.5 out of 5 in terms of difficulty. Now even the jumps that were recently added here are only about 4 inches tall. So short of some narrow sections, this should be about the lowest possible rating in this metric. Next is ingenuity, or what makes the trail special, memorable, and stand out from others. Here we give it an average 3 out of 5. What makes this trail special is actually the aforementioned difficulty. There's all types of riders out there, and for the new rider, returning rider, or simply someone that just wants to flow around in nature, this trail system is perfect for them. It uses the land well and has some long flowy sections, but does require a good bit of pedaling as a result. Now for rideability or the quality of the build of the trail, including attention to detail, upkeep, and how often it's open, here we give this trail system a 4.5. These trails are incredibly smooth, machine-built trails that are constantly kept up, close very rarely, and the trail crew are always improving the flow of the trail. Ever since the release last year, all three trails have seen significant improvement, and this trail system is generally the first one to open of all of the Cleveland Metro Parks after a hard rainstorm. Now for trail variety, or does the trail offer optional features, alternative lines, or different challenges, here we give it a 1.5. While the trail crew recently finished a large rock berm on Little Loop, and there's a total of three small jumps on all of the trails, that's about the extent of the variety whenever it comes to them. Now that's not to say that these trails aren't fun or that you can't challenge yourself by riding them just a little bit faster, but in that case, you're more likely limited by your own bravery than you are your riding skill. Now being as these are mixed use trails and there's often a lot of hikers here, we can't say that we advise going too fast. Now lastly, we have yielding, or how crowded it is, how well known it is, and how much do you need to stop. In this case, we give this trail system a two out of five. These are very popular trails, and in the dozen or so times that we've ridden here, we've either run across hikers, potentially going the wrong way, other riders going much faster or much slower, and there tends to be congestion near the trailheads. Couple this with the fact that the average trail length is under a mile, and the trail system is less about completing the loops, and more about how many times you can ride your favorite loop. Now overall, West Creek Reservation is 
pretty difficult to rank because of what it is. In this case, we were split. As an experienced rider, I might give this trail a 2 out of 5, whereas a brand new rider would give it a 5 out of 5, as it's far more approachable for them and perfect for their riding style. Now, based on our scores on the dirty scale, this trail would score a little bit under a 2 out of 5. But even after about a year's worth of riding and having done some truly challenging trail systems, I find myself coming back to West Creek Reservation about once a week. Out of respect for the trail crew, we're going to let you decide what the trail system ranks for your own personal style of riding. And we appreciate you watching, and thank you so much. Now let's go get dirty.